1. What are the advantages of using Spring Boot? Spring Boot provides several advantages for developers building Java applications. Auto configuration simplifies the setup process by automatically configuring Spring and third-party libraries based on project dependencies. In a real-life project where I built a RESTful web service for an e-commerce platform, adding Spring Boot Starter Web automatically set up the embedded Tomcat server and configured it for handling HTTP requests, saving significant setup time. Standalone Applications allows creation of standalone applications with embedded servers like Tomcat, Jetty, or Undertow, eliminating the need for external web servers. For a microservices architecture project, we packaged each service as a jar file with an embedded server. This allowed us to deploy and run services independently, without needing a separate web server for each. Production-ready features includes ready-to-use features such as metrics, health checks, and externalized configuration. In a financial services application, we used Spring Boot Starter Actuator to add health check and metrics endpoints. This helped us monitor the health and performance of our application in real time. Reduced development time accelerates development by minimizing boilerplate code and providing a large ecosystem of pre-built components. Using Spring Boot Starters, we quickly set up data access layers using Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, which configured Hibernate and data source connections automatically. Microservice friendly, ideal for building microservices with lightweight and modular architecture. For a logistics management system, we developed microservices for different functionalities like order management, inventory, and shipping. Spring Boot's lightweight setup was perfect for this modular approach. Easy dependency management simplifies dependency management through the use of starter dependencies that aggregate common dependencies. By including Spring Boot Starter Data MongoDB, we easily integrated MongoDB into our project without manually managing individual MongoDB dependencies. 2. What are the Spring Boot key components? Key components of Spring Boot include Spring Boot Starters, predefined starter templates for various functionalities, e.g. Spring Boot Starter Web. In a CRM application project, we used Spring Boot Starter Data JPA to handle database interactions, which included Hibernate and JPA dependencies. Spring Boot Auto Configuration automatically configures Spring applications based on the included JAR dependencies. Including Spring Boot Starter Web in a project for a customer service portal automatically set up the necessary web server configurations. Spring Boot Actuator provides production-ready features to help monitor and manage applications. In an online banking application, we used Spring Boot Starter Actuator to enable endpoints that provide insights into application health, metrics, and more. Spring Boot CLI command line tool for rapidly prototyping with Spring. For a prototype of a digital wallet service, we used Spring Boot CLI to quickly create and test different service components using Groovy scripts. Spring Initializer, web-based tool to bootstrap a new Spring Boot project. When starting a new project for an insurance management system, we used Spring Initializer to generate the initial project structure with necessary dependencies. Embedded Server, Support for embedded servers, e.g. Tomcat, Jetty, Undertow, to run applications standalone. Packaging an application for a booking system as a JAR file with an embedded Tomcat server allowed us to deploy it easily on different environments. 3. Why Spring Boot over Spring? Spring Boot offers several advantages over the traditional Spring framework. Auto configuration automatically configures components based on the application's dependencies, reducing manual configuration. In a real-life project for a healthcare management system, using Spring Boot Starter Web eliminated the need for manual configuration of the web server and MVC components. Embedded Servers supports embedded servers, allowing applications to be run as standalone services without needing external application servers. We developed a series of microservices for a retail application, each running as a standalone application with embedded Tomcat, simplifying deployment. Simplified development reduces boilerplate code and simplifies dependency management with starter dependencies. For a social networking platform, using Spring Boot Starter Data, JPA streamlined the setup of JPA and database configurations, accelerating development. Production Ready provides built-in features like metrics, health checks, and application monitoring, making applications production ready from the start. Implementing Spring Boot Starter Actuator in an IoT monitoring system 
allowed us to monitor application health and performance effectively. Faster development streamlines the development process with a simplified setup and development lifecycle. Using Spring Boot Initializer for a fintech application helped us quickly set up the project structure and get started with development in minutes. 4. What is the starter dependency of the Spring Boot module? The starter dependency for a basic Spring Boot application is, this starter includes core components necessary to start a Spring Boot application. Adding Spring Boot Starter to your Palm XML in an e-commerce platform project provided essential dependencies like Spring Core, Spring Context, and Logging, simplifying the setup process. 5. How does Spring Boot work? Spring Boot works by Auto Configuration scans the class path to determine which libraries are present and automatically configures the appropriate Spring components. In a content management system project, including Spring Boot Starter data, JPA automatically configured Hibernate and JPA repositories based on the project's dependencies. Embedded Servers Embeds web servers like Tomcat, Jetty, or Undertow, allowing the application to run independently. Packaging a news aggregator application with an embedded Tomcat server enabled us to deploy it as a standalone service. Starter Palms uses starter dependencies to bundle relevant dependencies for different functionalities, simplifying project setup. Using Spring Boot Starter Web for a blog platform project brought in Spring MVC, Jackson, and Tomcat dependencies automatically. Spring Application Class The Spring Application Class is the entry point for starting the Spring Boot application initializing Spring Context and Application Components. The main method in a ride-sharing application called Spring Application, Run Application, Class Args to start the application, initializing the Spring Context and Components. 6. What does the at Spring Boot Application Annotation do, internally? The at Spring Boot Application Annotation is a composite annotation that combines at Enable Auto Configuration enables Spring Boot's auto-configuration mechanism. In a library management system, this automatically configured Spring components based on the included jars. At Component Scan, scans for Spring components, configurations, and services in the package where the application is located, automatically discovered and registered beans in the specified package for an inventory management application. At Configuration, marks the class as a source of bean definitions for the application context. Defined beans and configuration in the application class for a banking application. 7. What is the purpose of using it component scan in the class files? The it component scan annotation is used to specify the packages that Spring should scan for components, configurations, and services. This allows Spring to automatically detect and register beans in the application context. At component scan base packages equals com. Example. Project. In a hotel booking system project told Spring to scan the com. Example. Project package for components. Ensuring all service and repository beans were discovered and registered automatically. 8. How does a Spring Boot application get started? A Spring Boot application starts by executing the main method which calls Spring Application. Run Application. Class Args. This method initializes the Spring Context, auto-configures components, and starts the embedded server, if applicable. In a real estate application, this entry point initialized the Spring Context, configured the components, and started the embedded Tomcat server. 9. What are the most common Spring Boot CLI commands? Common Spring Boot CLI commands include Spring Run less than script greater than, runs a Groovy script or Java class with Spring Boot, Spring Run My App. Groovy started a Spring Boot application from a Groovy script in a rapid prototyping project for a chat application. Spring install less than dependency greater than, installs dependencies to the local repository. Spring install web installed the web dependency locally for quick testing of a new feature in a food delivery service. Spring init less than project name greater than initializes a new Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. Spring init my project created a new project structure for a travel booking application. 10. What is Spring Boot CLI and what are its benefits? Spring Boot CLI is a command line tool for rapidly prototyping Spring applications using Groovy scripts. Benefits include rapid development, allows quick creation and testing of Spring applications without full build and deployment cycles, quickly prototyping a feature for a fitness tracking application using Spring Run app, Groovy. Simplified syntax, Groovy scripts offer a more concise syntax for Spring configuration, using Groovy to define a Spring Boot application in fewer lines of code for an internal tool. Easy testing, 
facilitates easy and quick testing of spring components and configurations. Testing configurations and components directly from the CLI for a task management system without setting up a full project. 11. What is Spring Initializer? Spring Initializer is a web-based tool, https colon slash slash start.spring.io, that helps developers quickly generate a new Spring Boot project with the necessary dependencies and configurations. Using Spring Initializer to select dependencies like Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Boot Starter Data JPA for a retail inventory management system, then generating a project and downloading it as a zip file for further development. 12. What are starter dependencies? Starter dependencies are pre-configured Maven or Gradle dependencies that aggregate common dependencies for specific functionalities, e.g. web data security. They simplify dependency management by bundling related libraries into a single starter dependency, adding Spring Boot Starter Web to your palm. XML in a Customer Relationship Management CRM, system project included Spring MVC, Jackson, and an embedded Tomcat server, providing everything needed to build a web application without manually managing individual dependencies.